Tonight, there's brand new life in an old space. The Washington Square Mall on the east side has struggled to keep tenants, but it's finally been able to put a store in its last large anchor space. Eyewitness News reporter Matt McCutcheon has a look at the mall's new normal. Eight, nine, and ten. On a Friday afternoon. Hello, how are you? Liggy Cress is selling an item or two she bought at the Washington Square Mall. First memories, oh boy, that goes back a ways. Now there's all kinds of little stuffed animals in there. She, like a lot of East Siders, longed for the mall's heyday. So we've lost several, several stores. The north side and the south side, I think, are the only two that have really kept going. But now there's a group trying to keep the east side going. We're coming towards the entrance of the mall. Pedro Grassi and his business and right partner are leasing the former Ellis Ayers building. The last empty anchor spot in the mall opened last weekend. We have over here a Royal Prestige. The cookware manufacturer boasts a 50-year warranty. It's one of several small stores set up in this large anchor store. The lady right here in the corner uh, is going to put some clothing for ladies. And her theme is, I can dress you for under $20. Just like an old-fashioned department store, food and services are also offered. We have a, some ladies um, called Hairpalooza that are coming in here and to cut hair. The profits from the plaza go toward another community project. Uh, everything began because of our, our church needs in Frankfort, Indiana. Life Ministries Church needs a new building, so the money made in rent will go toward that, bringing new life to Frankfort and the east side. Uh, we feel that God opened the doors for us so we could in return, start a building fund in our church. And while residents admit the international marketplace isn't a national name for the mall. <laughs> oh, you got quite a few. They're interested about what's in store. I would like to go in just to see what they do have. Each of these taped down spaces here on the carpeting represents space that could be filled by a new tenant here inside the store. And already some national names like T-Mobile and Dish Network are joining in the conversation. On the city's east side, Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. There are about a half dozen shops open now and there's room for nearly 100 on the first floor. There will be a grand opening on September 13th.